Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avilash and I'm a trader next to. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of gold USD. So if you're watching my videos for the first time, you can subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis. So let's get started. So dollar tumbles on hawkish ECB. The euro rallied Thursday after the ECB raised interest rates by 25 basis points. Gold flat as investors assesses US data Fed rate signals. So overall, we can see a weak dollar right now and expected as discussed, dollar broke the previous low and dollar made a low of 102.1. .1. As a result of which, we got to see crazy up move on this chart of gold. This was the candle formed by gold yesterday. Okay. And the structure of DXY is still very weak that we discussed and still we can see that market is con continuously forming lower lows and lower highs only. So overall the sellers are still dominating DXY and the structure that we have been discussing for the last couple of days is still very much intact. Right now DXY is standing at 102.23. This is the current market price here. So during the day by Asian session, European session, if we see recovery on the chart of DXY, then we can expect that DXY will be facing some selling pressure again around 102.72. Why? Because we have FIBO 50% retracement around this area and this was also the previous low. So previous low more or less you can expect will be acting as, um, was, was the support will be now acting as new resistance and in addition to that, FIBO 50% retracement around the same area, it gives us a confirmation that selling pressure will be there. So if market goes up, we can definitely expect that sellers will try to push the market down. If market reverses, we can look for a sell around 102.70. And in addition to that, you can see the market is going up right now. Yes, we do have some levels around 102.40, 102.60. These levels are also very much present, but the thing is that here we have the previous low as additional confirmation here apart from Fibonacci, we have got nothing. If the volatility of the market remains like this, then you can expect the market will be reversing from 102.40, 102.60. Otherwise, 102.72 seems to be the only logical retracement or pullback level on the chart of DXY. So enough talk about DXY, now let's head towards go. So this is the one hour chart of gold in front of us and we can see that market is standing at 1956 right now. If we look at the overall trend of gold here, then we can see a sideways market, a choppy market. This is not a trending market at all. If you are a swing trader, if you are a positional trader, then obviously your simple strategy is buy at support sell at resistance because the overall chart is sideways no clear direction we can see clearly if we move to a higher time frame for example daily time frame also you can see that overall the market is an uptrend but if we just focus on the present portion of the chart then we can see that there is no clarity regarding that direction market is simply standing at, at the 100 moving average so if you're a positional trader, if you're uh, looking for a trade that you can hold for a couple of weeks and months, then obviously you should wait for the right time. The time is not yet. So the time has not come yet. So let's head towards our hourly time frame. And as a day trader, obviously you should be focusing on the levels mostly. So first of all, we have a bullish flag on the chart here. You can see that we have a bullish flag here. And as we all know, bullish flag or bull flag is a trend continuation pattern. After an upside, market goes for consolidation. And as long as market is inside the flag here, we can consider this as our no trading zone. And once you'll see the market is crossing the flag, market breaking the flag and going up, you can look for a buy. In this case, you can look for a buy around. 1961 to 1962 not right now by European session or US session if you see the market is going up with volume the size of the candle is uh, big green 
then obviously you can consider taking a buy above 1961-62 level and your target should be around 1967-1968 to 1968. why because we have resistance around 1972 to 1973 we have already discussed in our previous videos about the importance of these two levels because on the chart of coal right now we have only two reliable levels first of all we have 1983 around 1983 we have strong price rejection from above therefore 1983 seems to be the strongest resistance on the chart we can expect some good selling pressure uh, after a few days okay because right now today market doesn't seem to be going to 193 right now okay so 1983 seems to be the strongest resistance and then we have good resistance around 1972 73 because of previous price rejection around this area so these are the two strong levels so as a result of which if market comes out of here if market breaks the present level here definitely market will be heading to a 70 to 73 so if you take a buy position around 62 63 level you should be booking your profits around 68 69 for safety purpose and right now apart from the bull flag here you can see that market is also facing some sort of resistance around the previous high as well as a result of which it's better to wait and watch as i said earlier yesterday the market was not stable enough and because of the because of the unstable nature of the market only we saw the market broke the levels market showed craziness so after this kind of a move also we should give time to the market so that can market settle so why a uh, flag pattern is so famous because after a sharp up move a sharp down move any sharp move okay market goes for consolidation it means market tries to settle before a big move again so that's why okay you need to wait as long as market is trading inside the range here inside the flag here and by the European session if you see that market is going down okay market is going down then it's better to avoid any sell position because in this present market condition if we look at the present trend the obviously the market is very very bullish so as a result it's better and safer to look for buy positions only here you can see that because of the strong up move we are using FIBO here apart from FIBO we have no other help as we are on the one hour time frame as a result of which we can also see that apart from FIBO we also moving averages but no price here so first level is around 1952 around 1952 it can be 1951 it can be 1953 so around 1952 uh, we have FIBO 50 uh, sorry FIBO 23.6 percent retracement level and also we have the moving average um, 100 moving average here then we have 1947 around 1947 1948 we have FIBO 38.2% retracement area as well as we have the 50 moving average so these are the two levels these are the two levels where you can expect a market to uh, take some support and bounce because right now the market seems to be bullish so as a result i am not recommending any sell position if the scenario changes during the us session then obviously you need to um, change your trade plan and trade accordingly but as of now the market seems to be bullish as we have a bull flag so try to uh, look for a buy position okay so let me wrap it up here first of all um, we have a overall sideways market a choppy market on the chart of gold so as a result it's better to look for um, trading opportunities like buy at support sell at resistance only if you're a positional trader then obviously you should be waiting for you should be waiting for a proper direction because on a higher time frame we don't have any direction but if you're a swing trader then obviously uh, obviously you should be looking for some higher time frame opportunities on and after the sharp up move yesterday we have a bullish flag on the chart of coal especially on the one hour time frame and right now market is under consolidation so in bullish flag the simple theory is after after a sharp up move market goes for consolidation as a result of which this particular portion of the market and as long as market is trading inside the flag we should avoid the market 
it's also called as the no trading zone so during the european session or us session when the volatility will be back when the market will be volatile again if market breaks 1961-62 level we can look for a buy position because we can consider it as a trend continuation again Okay, but on the other hand, if market fails to break 61, 62 level and starts falling, then considering the present up of, it is better to look for buy and retracement. We have used Fibonacci here. We have um, because of the sharp up move. Apart from Fibo, we do not have any other um, price here to support us. But yes, on hourly time frame, we have some moving averages. So if market starts falling, then we can look for some uh, support at 1952 level. 1952 is a weak level so volatility will play a big role if 1952 fails we can look for some support support around 1947 46 48 level okay so you can also draw FIBO like this because in case market is extremely volatile then obviously this will not work then you can look for support around FIBO 50 and FIBO 61.8 percent okay. And if market becomes extremely volatile, then you need to be careful because when market is extremely volatile, then minor levels do not work. Fibonacci will not work. Then you should only focus on major levels like 1983 and 1972-73 only. And if you're wondering about support, then to be honest, we do not have any strong support on the chart of gold right now, immediate support. Okay. So... If market starts falling, then you can look for some support around yesterday's low of 1925, but 1925 is also not a proper support. If you look at the economic calendar, then yes, we do have some news, but those news will not have some high impact. Okay, though they have been marked as high impact, but hardly the impact will last for one to two candles only. So that's all from my side. My dear friends, I can be wrong also. Follow proper risk management. Do not gamble with your hard money. Bye-bye. Take care.